let's talk about MCTs first, medium okay. chain triglycerides. Okay. What what gave you the idea in the first place to think that that MCTs were going to have any kind of benefit to the brain? Okay, very good question. So basically, what happens is that when we look at the, uh, nutrition and brain aging, we look at what happened with aging. We try to use nutrition to either correct or reduce the uh, aging uh, induced change in the brain. One of the problem with uh, uh, brain aging is the metabolism. So basically, if you look at our brain, brain is a very small organ, it's only about uh, two to three percent uh, body weight, but the brain actually accounts for up to 25% of whole body glucose metabolism. So the brain actually needs constant energy supply to keep normal function. But the problem with uh, aging is that when we, when, when we age, the brain's ability to utilize glucose decline. So that means that you have normal blood glucose, but the brain cell cannot utilize them well. So that means they are starving for energy. So that's why the cognition starts to decline around the mid-age. And uh, the ways to uh, boost the uh, kid, uh, um, interesting is that through the evolution, the, the brain cell not only can utilize glucose, they also have backup energy called the ketone bodies. Ketone body actually is a metabolite from fat. That's why we carry, we store fat uh, here. So when you don't have a meal intake or you don't have a carbohydrate intake, the body actually metabolizes fat, produces ketones. Ketones actually go to different organs to support their functions. So basically, <coughs> the reason we use MCT is that if you eat the normal fat, we call the LCT, the long chain triglyceride, from cooking or animal meat. The, when you eat LCT and the carbohydrate, the body actually prefers to metabolize carbohydrate. That means uh, the, all the LCT actually stored in the body to nano ketones. But the, when we have MCT, the body actually convert them to ketones. Doesn't matter what, uh, what else you eat. So you can eat the more carbohydrate and protein. The MCT can always convert to ketones. So ketones actually can <coughs> go to the brain support the aging brain for the energy. So that's the um, hypothesis behind this uh, uh, project that we confirm in dogs and uh, to show that uh, indeed MCD actually can enhance learning memory and the problem solving ability in the senior, healthy senior dogs. And we published the articles in the peer review journal. Okay, so, so basically what you're saying is that the dogs can now eat MCTs in their diet and then the body takes those MCTs and makes them into ketones. The ketones can go to the brain, and the brain provides an alternative energy source. Right. And that lets the brain function normally. Right. OK. Mm -hmm. Do the MCTs provide any other benefit? Well, the <coughs> Or is it really all just the ketones? Well, the, it depends. Uh, if you look at uh, uh, the ketone body, actually, not only for the energy, the ketone body also have uh, anti-inflammatory benefit. So, and uh, also ketone body actually is a preferred building block for the lipids in the brain. Okay. So basically not only support the energy, it also have anti-inflammatory benefit, it also can help brain to build more lipids. You know, the brain lipids is a major comp composition of the brain. Okay. So the building block help them to maintain the integrity of the brain structure. <laughs>